Mr. Lujan, can you comment on how many more cases you're anticipated to file here? Probably another 15. 15? Yeah. And you said once a day you'll be filing for the next week or so? Today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Wednesday. We'll make it so that you have something on Thursday. Again, are you concerned that you won't be able to prove jurisdiction, diversity jurisdiction for majority of your clients? Oh, I think we'll be proof, we'll be able to prove for a majority of our clients. But then, you know, even even the ones that we, we don't prove, jurisdiction, you know, of course, we're back in Superior Court. So oh. all it means is a transfer of courts, you know. Back in Superior Court, but you already took those cases here. Yeah, but, you know, if there's no diversity jurisdiction, then we, we file it in this way, or rather Superior Court. Even if most of those judges have already recused themselves in a lot of the cases? Yeah, I guess at some point, you know. They're going to have to create a judge over there. And that's the reason why we, you know, we, we left Superior Court simply because nothing happened. Have you continued talks with Hope and Healing Guam? I'm sorry? Have you continued talks with Hope and Healing Guam? Well, I continue to write letters. I haven't, I haven't received responses, so pretty soon I'll stop writing letters. Your letters? What are they pertaining to? Huh? What are you talking about in your letters? Well, just something that, you know. <laughs> Are you able to make a comment relative to today? how Archbishop Afro is uh, doing or where he's at? Latest on him? I don't have any comment as to this location. Okay, and you, you suggested dismissal of the cases earlier because of the way that the, the diversity jurisdiction was lacking. Um, well, not necessarily. Generally speaking, when you're dealing with civil pleadings, the plaintiff has the absolute burden to set forth certain things in order for the court to attain jurisdiction of the matter. And so essentially what was occurring in the hearing was that there was a proffer of certain evidence outside of that document. And so essentially I told the court that the best way to deal with the situation is to dismiss it if the plaintiff has not met that burden and to start all over again, essentially. Does Do Archbishop think... Aperon maintain his innocence at this point in time? Absolutely, he maintains his innocence. Do you think Mr. Luhan will be able to prove jurisdiction for his cases? We'll wait and have to see what he finds. Where is Archbishop Aperon now? I've already said no comment. All right? Thank you. Thank you.